evening, hockey fans. Tonight from the Prince Gate Arena in South Point, the 10band.tv and the PIHL present 3A hockey. Peters Township Indians meet the Baldwin Fighting Highlanders. Hello, everyone. Chris Bedick here along with Rick Darubas. Tonight begins the home stretch of the season for both of these teams coming off the short All-Star break. The All-Star game was played this past Sunday at RMU. Several players from both of these teams participated in that game. That was a lot of fun. That was a day of celebration. We brought that to you here on 10band.tv. Uh, TV. Hope you were able to watch that. That was a fun day showing the uh, All-Star players in action in their skill. But now they turn the page and they come back to their, uh, their respective teams. And uh, there's no there's no rest for the wicked, as they say, Rick Darubas, because now it begins the second half or the uh, stretch run of the season, and this is a big game right out of the shoot tonight between Peters Township, who uh, right now is uh, in third place. They just dropped the third place because Seneca Valley won the previous game we had here tonight over Cannon McMillan, so now they are two points behind Seneca Valley with 11-3 and one record. And they're both chasing Central Catholic right now, who's in first place with 27. So a big game for Peters Township, but also a big game for Baldwin, who comes in right now tied for eighth, which is the final playoff spot, tied for eighth with Bethel Park. Baldwin comes into this game with a 5-8-1 record, 11 points tied with Bethel Park. So right out of the gate, this is a tough game for both teams and a big game for both teams in terms of positioning and for playoffs. Well, the great Yogi Berra once said, it's like deja vu all over again. And I hope we get as good of a game the first time for the second time as we did the first. And it's interesting with both these teams in the building kind of learned a little bit more about where they are in the in the world of, uh, of, of this uh, division and who and what they need to be done. Uh, I would imagine Baldwin, a little bit of sigh of relief. Uh, watching the last couple of minutes of that third period of our previous game, knowing, hey, ours, our, the chase isn't as hot as it could have been. For Peters, and this is a, this is kind of a strange thing, Central Catholic hasn't been terribly good for a while. I mean, it, not like they have been this season. So, uh, you know, it, it's just an interesting game here tonight. I wonder what these teams will take from what they just saw on the ice before they came out here because – it, it did kind of level the playing field a little bit, I think. Minute and a half to go. Both teams are on the ice, get loose, stretching out, and getting their warm-ups in. As we said, Baldwin Fighting Highlanders come in, tied for eighth place uh, in the 3A division. 5-8-1, and one, 11 points. They've scored 39 goals on the season total, so they're only averaging 2.7. They've given up 53 goals on the season, averaging 3.7. Their head coach is Justin Glock. And their last game was last Monday, January 23rd, a tough 4-3 loss versus Central Catholic. In fact, Baldwin has been struggling. They've lost four games in a row. Their last win was Thursday, December 15th, a 3-2 win over Bethel Park. And to go even further, Baldwin's struggles have, con have continued to where they've only won one game. They have one win in their last seven. So they're gonna be looking to right the ship and to get it going in the right direction because they are fighting for their playoff playoff lives. Peters Township on the other end, the head coach is Rick Tingle. They are right now in third place, two points behind Seneca Valley and four points behind first place Central Catholic. They are 11-3-1 on the season, 23 points. They've uh, scored 71 goals on the season, so they've been able to fill the net. They're averaging 4.7 per game. They've uh, given up 39 goals against averaging 2.6. Their last game was last Thursday, January 26th, a 4-0 win over Bethel Park. That was a game that saw their junior goaltender, Kyle Thomas, make 28 saves for the shutout. So, coming into this game and turning the page, coming down the stretch, a big game, as we have said, for both teams. And the horn is sounded. Pucks will be going in a net. The teams will be given some last-minute instructions. And in a moment... We will have Peters Township Indians versus the Baldwin Fighting Highlanders. This game is sponsored tonight, as all Peters Township games are, Steel City Spine and Orthopedics. Is it my imagination, or is there an awful lot of players on both teams? This is a, these are deep benches. I wonder how deep they'll go. 
uh, just from eyeballing it up, it looks like Peters Township has the size advantage in this one for sure. These are big kids. These two teams that played earlier this season, we'll, we'll, we'll review that as the game go, goes along. So, in a moment, we will have the drop of the puck, and it looks like heading to the net in goal for Peters Township tonight will be number 35, Kyle Thomas. Kyle is a junior. He comes into this game with a 4-1 record, a 2.18 goals against average, and a .916 save percentage, which is really sparkling. And um, uh, Kyle uh, is coming off a 28-save shutout and a win against Bethel Park last week. And down at the other end, it'll be senior all-star goaltender Alex Golvosh. Alex comes into this game for Baldwin with a 3.78 goals against average and a .898 save percentage but calling that all-star game the other day i can say this because it's fresh in my mind alex Golvosh made the best save of the day uh in those all-star games an unbelievable save where he reached back with his stick to rob a player of a goal uh, puck is dropped we're underway and we have an early icing here against peters township face off come all the way down to the right of goaltender kyle thomas glad to have you with us here on 10 band taught 10 band dot TV, Baldwin versus Peter Township in a big game, stretch run here game for both of these teams. And I, it looks like both these teams are into it. Because of the proximity of these two teams, it's hard to know who actually knows one another, but I've already seen a little bit of jawing out there and we aren't even uh, 20 seconds in. A little, I, I don't know if it was friendly or not, but it was certainly funny. Peters Township, coached by head coach Rick Tingle. Look to get it going here. O'Malley takes a hit, makes a play, gets the puck out. Looking to reset. Here comes Malley. Nice Austin effort. Ma I'm sorry, that was Camden Martin. Number 91, Camden Martin, beg your pardon. First save of the game for Peters Township, an easy one off the blocker. Peters Township dressed in their black Those are sharp tops, uniforms. red pants, trimmed in white and red. Looking sharp. Yeah, they Baldwin. do. Baldwin in their traditional white jerseys, trimmed in purple and black. There's a giveaway there. And coming now with a head of speed. Shot wide there, rebound. Loose in front. Finding it as Kyle Thomas for the faceoff. Nice hacks by Baldwin there. I mean, they weren't going to give up on that play. The shot wasn't, uh, it was actually taken from behind the uh, red line. So I, I, you got you have to have the last name Crosby to do something fancy like that and, and get it to work too, pretty often. But uh, the uh, the aggression there by Baldwin to keep hacking at it, it was wide open there for a few, uh, for a few quick seconds, and they did what they could. Baldwin sends out their law firm line of Kramer, Kramer, and Hurley. There you go. Centering right there for Kovac went by. So that's what we're going to call that line, assuming they stay together. Kramer, Kramer, and Hurley. They're dumped in by Kramer. Here comes Peters Township with speed. Oh, a, a, a head of steam. Head of steam. Oh, he gets to a man. In. Kovac with a toe save. Oof. As he stuffed Will Tomko. And don't sleep on Will Tomko. He leads this Peters Township te uh, team with 18 goals. And he almost got 19 there. But Golvosh makes a toe save. So looking at the uh, Peters Township stat sheet, Ben Kovac leads the team with 18 assists and 30 points. He also has 12 goals. Will Tomko second with 18 goals, 11 assists for 29 points. And Ryder Mertens, 9 goals, 12 assists for 21 points. Those are the top three. Down at the other end for Baldwin, Tanner Plinta, junior forward, has five goals and 11 assists. He leads the team in assists and points with 16. Levi McCray leads the team in goals with nine and five assists for 14 points. And then Joey Stanek has seven goals, six assists for 13 points. Those are the top three scores for both of these respective teams. Neutral zone face off here. It, it's funny, Chris. I, I, and, Plinta uh, shoots that wide. You, Go, you had... Uh, Actually, it was you that had first introduced me to someone I'd known forever, our, our friend Sean Patterson, uh, that we have in common. His son plays for, or did play for Penn Trafford. He's a senior, a yeah. And I'm hearing uh, Tomko out there, and I'm 100% sure I played against a guy named Brett Tomko, who was really good. 
it's weird to be this age and now watch kids I knew growing up with kids play. Uh, yes, <laughs> yeah, not the kids of the kids you played with yeah. and or against, <laughs> yeah. and here they are. Yeah. Puck is sent into the zone. Sticked away there by Golbosh. There's a shot. Plinta having trouble. He's the captain of Baldwin. Centering pass there. Puck is loose. Baldwin now having trouble getting out of his zone. Peters kind of has him pinned in here. Plinta sends it around. Can Baldwin get it out? They will get it out to the neutral zone. Sent right back in and a change, wholesale change. Everybody coming off for Peters Township. Also, I think this needs to be said, especially if you're just joining us for this first game. These referees are refereeing back-to-back -back games. We have a real crisis in this country with people actually wanting to step up and be officials at any Ringwald! Shoot, excuse me, Rick. Yeah, no. Ringwald rips that, and he shoots and scores. Kobe Ringwald brings it in, and he rips a wrist shot that beats Golvosh. Yeah. Kobe Ringwald, the all-star defenseman, number 19, cashes in. His fourth of the season, and right there, it is one to nothing, Peters Township. No shame on Golvach there. That was not an easy puck to stop. I uh, just wanted to finish my thought. We appreciate the fact that people are willing to uh, work back-to-back -back games. That was something you never used to see back in the day. Puck sent in by Baldwin, so Peters Township strikes first. Kobe Ringwald, all-star defenseman. He's a senior, gets his fourth goal of the season. It was that, a laser. That gets it going for Peters, and it's one nothing. Baldwin's off sides. Huh? Peters now resetting, and they'll bring it out. It's going to be icing here. A little bit too hard. He tried to dump that. It tried to hit the high glass. Didn't get to it. Goes all the way down. Icing on Peters Township. 12:54 to go, first period. So glad to have you with us here on 10 Band TV. Peters Township and Baldwin. Peters Township getting the first goal of the game. Face off to the left of Kyle Thomas, their junior goaltender. Nice battle there by Baldwin. They didn't win that face off, but they certainly got possession of it quickly. McCray was looking to had a chance there behind the goal line. Now coming strong here is Peters. There's a shot, save Golvash, rebound, score! The rebound is put in by Peters Township. They get the goal. The 21. And it is two to nothing. Ryder Mertens, he's the first one to the bench. He gets the goal, that's number 10 for Mertens. And just like that, Peters Township cashes in again. And it's two to nothing, Indians. Uh, if you're Baldwin, you got to spend a little time in the zone. Even if you don't get it to pay off right away, uh, you can you cannot let your goaltender have to uh, to keep you in this game because the the way that Peters Township's coming at them, that won't last long. Plinta, Plinta centers it right there. Shot save, big save there by Kyle Thomas. Shot from the point. Thomas sticks that away. Thomas had to be sharp to make that save. Well, Baldwin did everything uh, everything you could do except put it in the back of the net. Fisher sends that puck deep. Can they get it out? Baldwin will, but they turn it over in the neutral zone. Fisher has it again. It took a while in the last game for Seneca Valley to get going. It took about, well, it took one period, really, for yeah. them to get going. Peters Township right now does not have that same issue. There's a save there off the mask of Golbash. Peters Township has come out with their legs, and they have found their game early, and they are up 2-0 early on Baldwin. 11.23 to go. Baldwin ices that puck. So this is not the start that Baldwin wanted coming into this game. They've, they've lost four games in a row and one in their last seven. And now they find themselves behind early, two to nothing, to a Peters Township that is looking to make a move and get closer to first place. So far, so good for Peters. They're now what's sitting in third because of what They're happened in the third, previous yeah. game with Seneca Valley Seneca, winning. Yeah, Seneca Valley, they were tied. 
Seneca Valley jumped over them now by two points. Peters again can tie them because they'll, if Peters wins this game, they'll have 12 shot. It's loose, Ooh. rebound, score! Peters gets another one. Austin Malley, I believe, jumped on that loose puck and he knocks it by Golvash. It is Malley, number eight on the season, his eighth goal. And don't look now, but Peters Township has Baldwin on the ropes. It is three to nothing. Five, just five minutes, six minutes. Just a little, about six minutes into this game, Rick. Well, there's, you know, a couple of these have been just giant juicy rebounds. Just crash the net and pick up uh, and, and pick up the trash. And that's, that's what happened. There's not been anybody on the Baldwin side of this, uh, in this game, clearing anybody out from the front of the net. And you, you are not going to live long if that is the plan. You got to clear them out somehow. It's not a goalie thing. It's a, it's a defensive thing. It's a team thing. And, and right now, Baldwin's got to find it because they're, they're in trouble right now. You can feel it. You can feel it in the building. Peters is going right now. They are playing. I don't want to say they're playing at the top of their game, but they're certainly off to a great start here in the first period. Up three to nothing early. And here you got numbers Tomko again. Tomko now. They're off sides. Yeah, they whistle it down a little late, but they got it. Baldwin's head coach, Justin Glock, encouraging his troops, trying to settle them down, but encourage them at the same time. Got to get something going here. Got to kind of right the ship. These two, these two teams already met this season, December 12th, and that was a game that was five to three in favor of Peters Township. That was a game that Will Tomko, number 28 for Peters Township, had the hat trick in that game. Cal Thomas was the winner in goal that night also. Stopping 14 or 17 to get the win. By the way, I'm not sure how it got there, and they'll probably pick it up now unless nobody recognizes. Oh, the goaltender recognized who's down there, but there was just a random stick uh, down in the far corner. Penalty coming up here against Peters Township. They're going to be shorthanded. So the Indians get the gate. Richie Woods going to the box. So here's a chance for Baldwin down 3 0 to try to get something going. Baldwin's power play ranks eighth of 11 teams in the 3A division, seven for 52, 13.5% conversion. They're facing one of the top penalty kills in all of 3A. Second out of 11 teams ranks Peters Township. They've killed 34 of 38, 89.5 on the kill for them. So very good penalty kill, but a chance for Baldwin here on the power play. They're down three nothing. They set up shop winning that draw. Baldwin needs shots, and I was going to say that they, they, they need to just get the puck towards the net and crash it. I mean, they, they, they have not established any sort of puck presence in this game or any zone time. They need to make this count. Stanek sets it up. Reed sends it cross rink. Baldwin setting up the power play here. Down three to nothing. They could really use a power play goal here. Well, they got to keep it in the zone Good first. Good play up top by the captain there. Ryder Mertens, look at him, look at that relentless work. Yeah. Mertens working hard on the kill, the senior captain. Could you imagine having that much gas in the tank? He's uh, gonna, he's I coming can, to I the, cannot. He's coming I never to did. the bench now. No, it, it's, uh, <laughs> I can have dreams that I have that much yeah. gas in the can, Whew. but uh, that's about it. Great work there by the senior captain on the kill. Quenta loses it. Oh, Up right into in. the bench. Look out, coach. Everybody's okay, but uh, yeah, went went right towards the coach. That that motor just didn't quit uh, on that uh, on that kill right there. It was really an, an well, impressive job, and he almost got a shot off. For right now, what's left on that power play? 43, 43. 43 seconds. Uh, it, the 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 time to try to set up the perfect shot has passed. You just need to drill the puck towards the net and let one of your bigger players get in there and at least let them know you're in this game. If you're gonna show a video to your team on how to kill a penalty. That you show that one. It's you just show that. That was very impressive. Because that's how you do it. 25 to go in the penalty. Baldwin trying to get something going. Too much time spent. Yeah, you, you, you know, 
you're gonna ha somebody's gonna have to get a real aggressive for Baldwin. And, well, you and could carry see, that mail. You could see why Peters Township has a seven second rated <laughs> penalty kill oh, in the uh, 3A division, killing 34 of 38 penalties. They're good. This may be icing by Baldwin here. It will. So you ice the puck on the power play. That's going to, in effect, kill the power play. There's two seconds left. So Baldwin's going to be over one. Faceoff's going to call it, come all the way down to the left of senior goalie Alex Govash. Govash of Baldwin. Three to nothing. 8.04 to go in the first period. Exactly the kind of start Peters Township wanted. The exact opposite of the start Baldwin wanted. Ringwald's shot is blocked there. The penalty is over. Teams are back to equal strength. Nice job keeping it in the zone by Peters. That was uh, Ringwald. They kept it into the blue line, and they're going to create another opportunity for, uh, looks like a shot from the point. Shot gets all the way through. Govosh makes the save. Puck is sent in. Is this going to be icing? It will be. All right, going to go all the way back down. Baldwin struggling to find themselves right now. They need a spark. They need something positive. Now it looks like we have yeah, a law firm of Reed, Reed, and McCray out here for Baldwin. So these teams, Baldwin has two Kramers and two Reeds. We like that. That's it. Yeah, they could have two law firms. Oh, here's lines. a lead pass here. They may have a chance. Lead pass to Reed. Reed moving in. Shoots. Oh. Takes a huge hit after the shot. That's, yeah, that. There's a few things going on here. Um, that was a huge I, hit after the shot, and you have to think. I don't think the penalty's coming on the shot or on the hit, do you? I. I think we're going to get a penalty. I think there's going to be a it's, it's going to be a major boarding call coming. That's a guess. I don't know. Yeah, initially, Reed, initially Reed it didn't in. seem like that was what was going to happen. These two Woods and uh, McCrea. That was Cole. That was Cole Reed going in. He got the shot and then he got blasted. I'm. I would not be shocked. There's going to be a penalty here. Well, there's there's matching. Yeah, I see that McCrea in the box. Woods is in the box. So we'll have to see how it's sorted out. He's being, yes, he's being ejected. I think Woods is being, nope, Woods is being told to sit. <laughs> so we'll see what they call here. Is it two and 10 that maybe? Was a, that was a pretty violent hit. It, it was, but I didn't see the arm go up on the initial call and then when there was the skirmish, which is how McCrea ended up in yeah. the box. It's just going to be, how do they eat? Do they even out? I, I don't think so, but we'll see when they go up. Again, no uh, no in-house PA here, so we're just going to have to wait for the board to, to tell us. Uh, referees conferring there at the scoring, uh, at the scorer's box. I mean, Peters is aware that they have four skaters. Woods Wood, is leaving. Woods is, uh, Woods is leaving, so it's going to be a five-minute major to him. McCrea was in the box. Now he's not. <laughs> he's so there's there's going to be at least a five minute major. Yeah, yeah. There's a five minute major coming. So five minute major in a game misconduct. It's it's pronounced McCray, not McCrea. McCray, yeah. we got gotcha. you. Thank you. And we apologize if we're mispronouncing any names, folks. We usually don't do the three A division. We usually do the two A division. So we are a little bit unfamiliar with the teams and the players. We're doing the best we can, and we know you understand. We appreciate you watching here on 10 Band TV. So five in a major. Now, now, this is a big opportunity here. Down three, nothing. Baldwin gets a five minute major power play. So this will be power play number two, and it's a five minute major. Okay, so you, is McCray back on the, Bench? Yes. I was to say he didn't know. McCray's on the ice. He's just oh, coming oh, out. But right what now. I'm yeah. saying is he I don't yes. know. I wonder how he ended up in the penalty box. I, the first I don't place. know. He may have thought he was going, but he is not. I actually think that's the way to call it for the officials. You know, I mean, 
if you don't, if you see your teammate get hit like that and you don't shove somebody, you're a bad teammate. So good on him for doing it. And he didn't get, he didn't pick up a penalty for it either. Here's a big part of this game right now. You got a five minute major power play to Baldwin. They're down three to nothing. A five minute major means they can score as many goals as they could possibly can in a five minute time frame. Buys will shoot. That hit a stick, goes out of play. Good stick on puck there. Yeah, that By this, this is super important. And, and what new, I what, new what paper I hope, got the stick okay. on the puck. Go ahead, pal. Uh, what what I don't want to see Baldwin do is try to get too fancy. I mean, they, th th this obviously is not set the tone to be a fancy game. Absolutely this not. This is this a grinded out game, and you've got 437 to put at least two in. Get make it interesting, but don't don't get so fancy that you don't have the opportunity to actually do that. Baldwin's power play has been not terribly strong this year. They have seven or seven for 52, 13.5%. But they've got a huge opportunity in this one to get something positive going. Down three to nothing already. Oh, Look out. Yeah, Look I was out, say. Official sticks and bodies everywhere. Yeah, Stripes had to get out of the way. And nice, pretty nimble over there for Hendry to get out yeah, of the Hendry way. Yeah, Hendry got out of it pretty quick. Dempsey now, look to set up. Under four to go in the major. O'Malley, good pass there. He'll be able to get it in the zone, set it up. Buys to Reed. Reed back to Buys. Shot, safe, loose, rebound, cleared by Peters Township. Under six minutes to go in the first period. 3.28 to go in the major penalty. Power play for Baldwin. Plenta. Tanner Plenta, there's a shot Shoot that it. goes wide. Plenta. He's the captain, number 13 in white. Reed. Stanick. Back to Reed. Stanick. Cross ice pass, avoided everybody. Reed, shot, kind of takes off on him, goes high. Stanick, battle behind the goal line. Stanick comes out with it. Back to Reed. Reed, shoots, deflected. That's what you Save. need. Save. Rebound, it's loose. Stanick hits a body. Where is it? The goaltender has it, and that's what you need. Kyle Thomas has it. That's who. Good pressure. Shots and bodies to the net. Yeah, shots and bodies, and look what happens. It, it, I, I measure their success level with the level of your voice, Chris. <laughs> and uh, nice. you got real excited down in that because low shots, rebounds, and bodies to the net equal garbage goals that get you back into this one. And you could do that still with 244 left. You still have opportunities to do that. Just keep doing it. I'm easily excited. I know. Well, you know what? You know, Warren, Warren, we all Z got Warren Zevon had an album one time called Excitable, Excitable Boy. Boy. And, uh, you know, I, I, I guess I could be an excitable boy, I guess. I, I do it. Plenton now, trying to get through everybody. Here he comes. You'll sleep when you're dead. <laughs> the great Warren's Yvonne. <laughs> Reed, back to Plenta. Plenta. I only hope the audience is like our age to know what the heck we're talking They're about. They're not. There's a shot. Oh, it avoided it. Boy, that hit something. Thomas didn't know where it was, but it didn't go in the net. Reed. Oh, that's, it comes oh, out. That's got to bring everybody back out. And now you're about to... Uh, you're not going to get back into that zone till about two, so it's going to be your average power play here, and you've got to get one in these you two turn minutes. Turn it over there, and it's cleared. So now we're down to two minutes to go in the major power play. Three nothing, Peters Township wins, or leading, I'm sorry, not wins, leading. It's going to get ahead of ourselves. Opportunity here for Baldwin to at least get something going. They've had pretty good zone time and some chances, but the puck is cleared there. Minute. 38 to go in the major power play. And yeah, the only design flaw in this building is the fact that the heaters are like yeah, right, right in front of our screen. Right in front thing. of the. Good thing we have this television screen yeah. right here because, uh, uh oh, there's a giveaway. Oh, boy. Short handed. Long a, shot there. Goal wash. Ni nice job by Baldwin to hop that defense out there in the right spot. Porter Herb on that long range shot on the kill. We'll stop by Goldbosch. Now we're down to a minute 10 in the major power play. 334 to go in the period. Baldwin, if you missed it, are on a five minute major power play. Woods was ejected. Richie for Woods, number 51, senior 
was given a five minute major and a game misconduct. Buys. A lot of passes, but not enough shots here for Baldwin. Parents in the crowd yelling, shoot. <laughs> shoot the fire, another one. Malley shoots, that stopped, it's loose. Couldn't get in. And it's cleared. Now we're down to 35, 35 to go. Baldwin parents getting a little, uh-oh, uh there's a giveaway here. There's a chance. Tomko, oh, good block. Oh, the save was beautiful. Good block there. O'Malley. 15 to go in the penalty. Plenta. Shot, save. Plenta. Shot, deflected in! Oh, that's it! Oh, he's, he's gonna count it, it is a goal! Yeah. It was deflected in. Baldwin with three seconds to go in the major. They do cash in. And who is gonna get the goal? Coming first to the bench, McCray. There you go. McCray gets the goal, that's his team leading 10th of the season. His third power play goal, but his team leading 10th. So not all for naught, they did get it. It took almost a whole five minutes, but Baldwin, Baldwin does get the goal. And well, they are on the board. Mom told him to shoot, and somebody and, and, cleaned up the trash. And, and I there, mean, it's, there you go. They got everything you needed shoot on that Shoot clean one. up the trash. Do what mom says, <laughs> yeah. and uh, you score goals. That's See how the that most is? mom thing ever. Penalty is over now, so Baldwin does get, they do get a goal on that power play. And they are on the board. It's 3-1 to one with two. 17 to go, first period. So we'll see what kind of life that gives Baldwin right now. I, you know, it, it, it's got to build your confidence a little bit. If you can get out of here, only down by two, take the last goal of the period into the uh, given in, into yeah. the intermission, that's what you need. I tell you what, Rick, given the, how it went the first 10 minutes of the first period, if Baldwin can get out of this just down three to one, they'll take it. Because yep. the first 10 minutes, it was pretty much all Peters Township. But... Now we've got a minute 47 to go in the first, three to one. The Indians lead. Plenta try to get around a man, still coming. It goes on net right in there and Kyle Thomas makes a save and there is no rebound. So now we're down to a minute 36 to go in this first period. Uh, Face off will be to the left of Kyle Thomas. I, I didn't keep track well enough to think about it uh, now, but I'm, Almost positive, McCray, who scored, who is the goal scorer, is back out there. Uh, did he play? I uh, had to play that entire power play. I feel like he's been out there the entire time, and he was the one that ended up sitting in the box thinking he did something wrong, and he's the one that collected the power play goal. Mertens shoots, hits, hits the post. Mertens there, good work, good shot, hit the post. Minute 15 to go in the first period. Here comes Peters. Pass too long. It's tipped. There's no icing. Can Baldwin get it out? Ringwald. He's got a goal. Here he comes. Kobe Ringwald. Centers it. Oh, he tried to get it in front. That doesn't connect. Ringwald still has it. Wheeling and dealing. He's hooked, pulled down. Nothing called. No. He wanted a penalty. He didn't get one. Mertens, They're the off sides. Yep, not called. I've... Mertens sends it around. Ringwald is there. Jumps over his stick. Comes the out. The thirty reset. left. Fisher. Good pass there. Headman pass. Nice job to lift the stick there. Number nine. The Baldwin Centering coming there. in. It's going to come out of the zone. That's Pays. Goldbach stops Pack. it for his defenseman. Twelve seconds to go. Baldwin. We owe you one break. We will go to as the period ends, friends. Under five to go. And that's it. So, interesting first period there. Peters Township got off to the great start, building a 3 0 lead. Baldwin on a late goal on a five minute major power play by Levi McCray, his 10th of the season, puts Baldwin on the board. And after one here at Pinscape Arena, it is Peters Township 3, Baldwin 1. Be back with the second period on 10band.tv.
Welcome back to Princescape Arena at South Point. After one period, Peters Township is leading Baldwin three to one. Goals in this game, the first three were scored by Peters Township. Kobe Ringwald got his fourth of the season. And Austin Malley got his eighth of the season. Ryder Mertens had his 10th of the season. That was a three nothing lead. Then a five minute major in a game of conduct was given to Richie Woods for boarding. He exited a game, and on that five-minute major, Baldwin was able to cash in with three seconds to go in the penalty. Levi McRae uh, got his 10th of the season to make it 3-1. to one. And we so, worked in two Warren Zevon references in one game, which was pretty spectacular. <laughs> you and I may be the only two. I, I'll bet... I bet Todd knows who Warren Zevon yeah. is. You know, maybe. maybe. He, you, I was going to say, you and I may. Oh, here's a chance here. Shot saved by Goldbosch. Rebound. So the second period oh, has begun. Oh, comes the penalty. And we will stop talking about Warren Zevon so everybody can say, what are they talking about? Puck is dumped in. Baldwin's going to get another power play. Oh, are you going to negate that power play? Or what's. Buys hit him. Is he going to go too? No. It doesn't either. look like it. I mean, I think ultimately it was a clean hit, and maybe he didn't realize that it was a power play coming. I don't know, but uh, they're going to leave it as just one. So the big thing there is number 91 is going to the box, Camden Martin. So he will sit, and now Baldwin gets another power play. Right now they are... One for three. This is chance number four. Get it low and get it in. I said Danny. to you during our brief intermission, if I'm Baldwin, I'm running right not into the goalie, but at him with everything. You gotta have you gotta have activity there. Yeah. Puck sent around, does it come out? It does. Stanick. Number one, which is a rare number for a skater. You don't but, see many skaters with the number one. No, but a beautiful skater out there. What a, he, yeah, he can he, move. Yeah, he can move. Come on, Here comes Baldwin. Mom yelling encouragement again, telling him to move it. Big opportunity. Yeah. Well, you're right back in it if you can connect here with uh, a buck oh five left. Referee lost sight of it on the far side, which is why he blew the whistle. And you can tell that that was the case uh, for why he blew the whistle. But uh, un unsuccessful by Baldwin. And, uh, again, though, the grinding is what's going to keep Baldwin in this game. And, and the thing is, they're still very much in this game. It's only 3-1. to one. They have another minute left to go on this power play. They're playing much better than they did in the first 10 minutes of the first period. And so a, a chance to grow on that right here. And collect on it. Let's see who's out on the uh... minute two to go. Sorry about that. My headset went dead for a minute. Just... Dead, dead batteries, Rick. Yeah. Well, it's, we've lived long enough to see a skater wear number one, <laughs> but we can't get long life batteries. How about it? <laughs> so we got batteries and we're good now. Yep. Stanick, power move, trying to get there. Wrap around, doesn't connect. Well, I, I like the move. I like the theory behind it. Thomas uh, made the save there. Yeah, just nobody in front. Thomas is uh, is real good down low. Uh, as you can see, the the theory of, for Baldwin continuing to go at the net. But, you know, they've got to get it past the guy, and he's pretty darn good. Plinta, as they set up shop, 30 seconds to go now in the power play. Another opportunity here for Baldwin. Three to one. Peters leads. Mom yelling to shoot it again. Nobody's listening to Mom. Centering right there. Oh, they were trying to go to Reed, and that doesn't connect. Reed was the one that got boarded, so it's good to see him yeah. back on the ice. Another Reed shoots. That misses everything. 10 seconds to go in the penalty. Yeah, the firm is out there. Reed, good play there. Good play, good stick by Mally. Here comes Mally. Mally's got a chance short and walks in. Mally, backhander. That was incredible Did he make save. the save or yes, did he hit he the did. side of the net? Right, he saved it. He Mally saved. did everything he could do there, but score. Penalty is over. Teams are back to equal strength. Baldwin's got to get they, off. There you go. Plinta drags himself to the bench there. Three to one, 14-10 to, 
to go, second period. Chris Baddock along with Rick Darubas here. So glad to have you with so glad to have you with us here on 10 Band TV. Shot there, Golvosh makes the save. Ooh. Reed had almost had his pocket picked. Now it's McCray. Baldwin kind of stuck in their own zone here. Buys. Should be able to get it out. He does. Puck dumped in by Hurley. Peters content with getting it out. I will say this for Baldwin. They're scrappy. They I are. mean, if you come out, if you come out down three nothing, you see one of your players get boarded like that. They came away with a power play goal in the last couple seconds of that five minute major. Uh, but they've managed to uh, to stay in this game where it looked like it was a freight train coming at them. So good on them. Puck dumped in by Byes. He's trying to fight through. Puck comes loose there. Nice defensive play there by 63. Malley dumps that in. After it is Kovac. Kovac leads the team with 18 assists. Korbel dumped that in, 76 defenseman. Kovac, Ben Kovac has his pocket picked. He'll have to go get it in the neutral zone. Baldwin gonna make a change behind the play. Oh, centering pass there just avoids Ringwald's able to keep it in. Ringwald can't keep that in. Here we come back. Kramer, Kramer and Kramer. Shot hit the, I think it hit the post. Yeah, I, I agree with you. It I think crazy it did. outside of the post there. Yeah, they're off sides and, and, and they did, there was no way he could have known that. He had his back to it the whole time. But, uh, and it wasn't by much. I think that was number seven. Logan Kramer on that shot, hitting the post. 12-16 to go, second period, three to one. Peters Township ahead. Peters got off to such a fast start tonight. Martin has it behind the net. Martin. Loses that, Kramer's able to get that out. Martin still battling. Malley. Baldwin tries to get out, they can't. Forster keeps it in. O'Malley, there's a Malley and an O'Malley. O'Malley for Baldwin, Malley for Peters. Forster sends it down behind the net. Centering pass, shot, nope. oh! Stopped by Golbosh, it just trickled wide. Forster, ba Peters got something going here. Look out here, Ringwald. Got Baldwin pinned in. Baldwin's tired. Yeah, but that's the problem. Baldwin, those guys out there are absolutely exhausted. If they, I, I, I see why he tried to clear the puck into the corner, which he did, but if it could have been grabbed by uh, the goaltender, these guys need a break. It's caught, yeah, I was gonna say, it's caught up in the pads. And they're, and they're just gonna ice it. So Baldwin does escape out of that. They drag themselves, all five players bent over as they drag themselves to the bench. Uh, Good shift there for Peters. They did everything but score. Yeah, well, look at those guys. O'Malley coming off there, and he yeah, is they, hunched they, over at the, uh, their at the Their line. tongues are dragging, that's for sure. Face off to the right of Alex Govosh, Baldwin goaltender. Herb stepping in for Peters. Phillips sends it behind the goal line. Battle there. Baldwin is able to get it out in the neutral zone. Puck deflects up into the scorer's box. 10.32 to go, 10.31 to go. Second period. Game has kind of settled down here. I, 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 you have to give all the credit in the world to Baldwin. They could have. Yeah. They could have walked out of here. Yeah, it, it looked like for a while there they were really on the ropes and teetering, in danger of being blown out of the building. But they've righted the ship, and they're right in this. It's three to one. Neutral zone faceoff here. Ten thirty-one to go in the second. Peters, a little bit of gamesmanship over there by eighteen. He's kind of 
picking his uh, picking the stick up and uh, waving it in Bai's face. Bai did a nice job by not swatting at it, but no doubt that he was just trying to get under his skin. Will Tomko out there, number 28 for Peters Township. Team leader in goals, as we had said earlier, is 18 on the season. Say, where is this face off? Out there with Austin Miley. Miley's got a goal tonight. Oh, it's a mouthpiece. Number That's 98. What... Yeah, mouthpiece. And then Ben Kovac, who's the point leader, assist leader with 18, point leader with 30, number 18. All of those players, all stars, who played in the all star game this past Sunday at RMU. Miley steps in here for Peters. Tomko shoots, deflected. Nice save again. Good save there by Golvash. Yeah, Gol Golvash got to wonder. Yeah. Centered. Oh, another big save there by Golvash. It's coming from everywhere. As he uh, stops Tomko. Kovac back to Tomko. In front. Oh, he tried to get it to Mali. Just missed. Yeah, I think that was. Uh... And Baldwin escapes. Plenta now. Here he comes. Gets around a man. Plenta had it poke checked away neatly there by, by Fisher. Buck is backhanded softly in on Thomas. He'll make the save and cover for a faceoff. 9.50 to go. Second period. Baldwin not only trying to right the ship in this game, but they've lost four games in a row. And they only have one win in their last seven. Still dangling with the uh, eighth playoff spot. But you're not going to keep it for long. If, Peter, you don't put a, if you don't put some bucks in the net. Peters Township, though, they have their eye on the prize, and they're they're looking to draw closer to first place Central Catholic. With a win tonight, they would move closer. Mertens with a head of speed. speed. Mertens gets it back to the point. Ringwald, he's got a goal tonight. Mertens. Mertens does, too. Shot saved by Golvosh. That was Hudson Phillips on that last shot. Mertens over to Phillips. Walks in. Shoots. Save Golvosh. Golvosh hanging tough. Keeping his team in it right now. Mertens to Ringwald. Shoots. Golvosh again. New, new paver. Back to the point. Phillips. All Peters right now. They have Baldwin pinned in. Ringwald keeps it in. Sends it back down. Dempsey run over. Ringwald can't keep that in. Dempsey. This is the first time Baldwin's been out of the zone in over a minute and a half. Maybe Ringwald two. now. Here they come again, though. Martin. Now here's Martins. Martin. Back to the point. Now here's you got a man, you got a lead man. Lead man by the man. Here comes Kramer. Walks in. Shoot. Save. Rebound. Shot. Air save. Woo. Two big saves by Kyle Thomas there. Yeah. That was nice stuff by Thomas. He uh, after the initial shot, he followed that rebound. It was picked up and shot right back at him. His lateral movement on his knees was fantastic. Moves across the, the uh, moves across the net and never really a threat. On that one, good, good stuff. Gotta love Thomas's demeanor in the net, in the net too. No panic. No. no. Stood tall. Made the save. Got himself ready. Made the next save. It's out. No panic in Thomas's game, for no, sure. Not at all. And uh, one thing I noticed here on this last offensive possession that lasted for, like I said, a minute and a half, two minutes, uh, four. Peters Township, they know how to call for the puck to one another. It's not just the passing that's good. I mean, they all have an idea of where they need to be, how to get there, and how quickly to move that puck. It is actually very impressive uh, how they are moving that puck with so much zone time. And it it's not even close. Icing there on Baldwin brings it back to the right of Alex Golbosch for a faceoff. 7.15 to go second period. Peters Township up 3-1. to one. We've had no goals in the second period. Yeah, I, that's what I mean. You've got to hand it to Baldwin. Even though they may not be scoring, they 
they closed a very wide gap in in in, in play from that first one, and now O'Malley, they're gonna have a chance, maybe. O'Malley knocks that away. Here comes O'Malley with a head of steam. O'Malley can't oh. get around. A sparkling play there. And that two was on a two-on-one on one the other way. And a goal! The loose puck. Austin Malley finds it, and he's able to backhand it past Goldbosch. That was, that was just mishandling by the defenseman there by Baldwin. Uh, no chance for the goalie. Uh, it should have been a routine play. As you can see, the replay coming up here. I mean, the pass is uh, completely botched. Defenseman unable to get back to it and just picks it off. Miley finds the loose puck, and he backhands it home for his ninth goal of the season. His second goal of the game, number 98, puts the biscuit in the basket for Peters Township, and they are up 4-1. to one. He's looking for and more. here they come again. Oh, they're offsides. Miley looking for the hat trick now. A uh, little bit of uh, how you been. Yeah, did you see that? Yeah. I did. Baldwin didn't appreciate that. He kind of, sort of, accidentally, but on purpose, shot the puck into the net after the whistle. I, you know, I, I, I'm one of these guys that rides a, a very fine line between gamesmanship and sportsmanship. That's gamesmanship. Yes. He's sending a guy, I think he's sending a little message to Mr. Govosh that he's going to be back, so. He'll be looking for the hat trick, so Austin Malley, number 98, senior, forward, all-star. He has two tonight. 6.22 to go, second period. Peters Township up 4-1. to one. Looking for the head man pass, can't get it. Stanick. Now Stanick centers it, no one there. Number 30 there is Wesley Forrester. Wesley Forrester is the one that made the nice defensive play down at the other end, which led to Peters able to come back on that two on one and get the goal. Turnover there. New paver has it uh, pulled that's, down. That's definite. No, they didn't call it. They wow. They pulled him down by the neck. I mean, that's, uh, you know, it's unless usually, hockey's changed, that's definitely a penalty. They yeah, missed it, that one. It, it could have been, probably should have been. It wasn't called, though. Fisher. Now the uh, Peters Township parents voicing their displeasure. Yeah, they, they got a legit, uh, a, a legit beef on that one. Yes. Plenta now with the puck. Plenta. Gave that away. Oh, getting around him here. Moving in, backhander. Hit the post, rebound. Golvosh makes the save on the rebound. Is that underneath? Martin was. Oh, it's in his glove. Yes. Wow. Wow. Martin hit the post. Following that up was Mertens. Ryder Mertens, the captain. How did it get in his glove? And he made the save. Watch this on a replay here. So I thought, if anything else, he just fell back and sat on it. Wow, that's a nice save. save. Great save by Goldbosch. Oh, rebound, nice Keeping this four to one. Special thanks, Peters Township sponsor, Steel City Spine and Orthopedics. They sponsor every Peters Township game. And we, we appreciate, appreciate your yeah. support. Yep. We love being here, thank you. Buys now, can't handle the pass. Good play there though to keep it in McCray. Shot that went wide and McCray was knocked down. Giveaway here, Alexander, can he get it out? He will. Puck is dumped in. O'Malley knocks it with a high stick, but they're not gonna call it. Peters Township wanted that to be a high stick. You've got room here. Here's you, Buys. Yeah, I would say, I, buys. You, you've got to drive it to the net. McCray in front of Buys, and just didn't connect there. Good little, good little uh, give and go there. Absolutely. O'Malley now retrieves it. He'll get it out. Oh, he, he did no. Oh, it, it stayed in on the line. That was uh, it stayed in on the blue. We are just under four. Shot Goal. deflected in. That shot came from the point. Calvin Fisher. He shoots it, and it was deflected in. First one to the bench is Drew Alexander, number 46. 
The first one to the bench is usually the man that gets the goal. So we're gonna give that to Drew Alexander. Number 46, that's his first, if it is Alexander on the goal, that's his first of the season. And with 3.56 to go in the second period, it is five to one, Peters Township Indians. Peters Township scored five goals the first time these two teams met back in December 12th, and they already have five here with 3.52 to go in the second. They're looking for more here. Yeah, they sure, they, they sure are. Tomka, ooh, Aaron passed there. Phillips wasn't able to handle that. Battle along the wall here. Tomko, here he comes with a head of steam. Tomko, not gonna be denied. Here he comes, Tomko centers it. Not able to connect with Kovac on that play. Kovac has it, Kovac in front. Tried to feed it. Look how quickly to back Tomko. Peters Peters got, uh, namely uh, Malley. His, ba his back check on that one was fantastic. This line is impressive. Kovac, Malley, Tomko. They are impressive. Just their overall work ethic. Yeah. They bring it. They bring it. They don't take a shift off. No, they got numbers now. Oh, they're going to make a change. They're going to make I was a change. Say, yeah, you've got, uh, yeah, you had, had they, a chance. They, were, they did have numbers, but they were, they were, they were, they were, they were, they were yeah, well, handling the uh, Tomko Kovac <laughs> Miley line, they were worn out when they got possession. They were coming to the bench. They just keep coming. Peters Township. Kovac shoots, that misses the net. Phillips, can he keep it in? He won't. Down to 2.20 to go, second period. Kobe Ringwald dumps that in. Line change here for Peters. Plenta brings it up over the line. Plenta and Stanek. Stanek goes to the net, tries to get it to him, doesn't connect. Plenta. Shoot the puck. Shoot it. Stanek and Plenta. Now here comes, coming back through. New paver. Puck dumped in by Byes. He comes to the bench. Plenta's after it. He's all alone because his team's changing behind the play. And he takes a shot for his troubles. Mertens now headmans it. Martin, backhand, is it goes in. in. Is it in? The referee didn't point. Martin no says signal. it's in. It's nope. not in. No, it's not. No, Martin did not score. Let's let's see that replay. Martin did not score. The referee, Hendry, says, uh, not so fast, young man. Face off over here. Let's take a look at this. Martin thought he scored. Yeah, he sure did. I, I didn't see the puck go in, and never did the uh, ref indicate that it did. No. All he did was point to the faceoff circle and said, over here. Shot, good block. Goes out of play. Minute 21 to go, second period. Five to one, Peters Township. You can see that Reed had that puck not gone out uh, and actually just, it stayed in, got off the glass like it did. He would have had a, a nice shot. He might still be skating. Forster, play along the wall here now. New paver, battling with buys. Ringwald, head to Mertens, that doesn't connect. Puck dumped in by Reed. Forster sends oh, it nice, around the wall, nice good hit. hit there. Here comes Forster with it, he'll just chip it out. Reed dumps it back in. Ringwald, 36 seconds to go in the period. Five to one, Peters leads. Peters looks content here to bring out the Zamboni and go to the locker room. But here comes Mertens. He may be looking for more. Mertens shoots, Goldbosch makes that save and he'll cover up. Mertens goes hard to the net. No harm, no foul there. 19.9 seconds to go in the second period. Five to one, Peters Township in control. They lead. Faceoff will be to the right 
of senior goaltender Alex Govosh. All-star goaltender for Baldwin. And it's easy to tell why. I mean, it, it, the score is not what you'd like to see if you're a Baldwin fan, but uh, it, it could easily be 7-8. I like what I see out of both these goals. Yeah, oh, yeah. The other. And Kyle Thomas has just been rock icing air. Kyle Thomas has just been rock solid in the net. And he has faced his his share of chances too, but he has been tough. And then Alex Golbosch on the other end has had to make some strong, sometimes spectacular saves. And a heap of them. I mean, and they have to have 20-some shots by now, maybe maybe up to been, 30. Been a great period for great period for Peters Township. 11 seconds to go in this one. We owe you a slew of commercials between periods. It'll be Zamboni time here at Prince Cape Arena at South Point. And everybody was eager to get in that face off dot and the ref had to do everything they could to. Wanted that late goal. Yeah, uh, there I was gonna say, trying to I get out of the period, they're not gonna call that. And the horn sounds. So, here at Prince Cape Arena at South Point, strong period for Peters Township. They're able to add two more after having a three to one lead after one. They have a five to one lead after two. It's Zamboni time. We will take a short break. Be back with the third period on 10band.tv. Peters up five to one.
Two jumbo ice caramel drizzle peppermint mochaccino. Extra caramel. That's us. I'd love to join you guys at the beach house for a few days, but between my job and the kids, it's just not that easy. Not to mention, how am I squeezing into a bikini after this winter? Giving off extra pounds while balancing a family and a career can be tough. And 500 calorie coffees won't get you there either. Weight Loss Direct provides a 24-7 support and one-on-one -on -one coaching to keep you on track and guarantee you success and health. Start your journey at weightlossdirect.com. All across the United States, each state has what's called an immunization information system. Immunization information systems, or IIS, are confidential, population-based, computerized databases that record all immunization doses administered by participating providers to persons residing within a given geopolitical area. In the United States, every vaccination registry is a bit different, which can become daunting and confusing. Enter PubHub. PubHub solves this issue by giving its providers the ability to connect and communicate to the state registry with one connection and one data format. For example, if a patient has received the COVID-19 vaccine, PubHub allows the provider to see if the patient has already received the vaccine, keeping everything safe and organized for everyone. Two jumbo ice caramel drizzle peppermint mochaccino. Extra caramel. That's us. I'd love to join you guys at the beach house for a few days, but between my job and the kids, it's just not that easy. Not to mention, how am I squeezing into a bikini after this winter? Giving off extra pounds while balancing a family and a career can be tough. And 500 calorie coffees won't get you there either. Weight Loss Direct provides a 24-7 support and one-on-one -on -one coaching to keep you on track and guarantee you success and health. Start your journey at weightlossdirect.com.
Welcome back to Prince Cape Arena here at South Point. After two periods, Peter Township is leading the Baldwin Fighting Highlanders 5-1. to one. If Peters Township holds on and wins this game, their record will move to 12-3-1. They'll have 25 points. They will again be tied for second place with Seneca Valley, who won earlier tonight over Cannon McMillan. They will both, te both teams will be two points behind Central Catholic, and both teams will have games at hand. Peters Township will still have three games at hand on Central Catholic. Seneca Valley will have two games at hand on Central Catholic. So first place for Seneca Valley and Peters Township will still very much be in play if yeah. they hold on and win this game tonight. I, what, you know, what I want to see here out of the third is puck drops is I just, I don't want to see Baldwin roll over. This is a big deficit. It can happen, don't get me wrong. You know, four goals has happened before in a period, but I just don't want to see them get steamrolled because they are in that eighth playoff spot. They obviously have talent. They came out here, they have character, but you don't you don't want to see them just roll over. Especially um, a team that we have mentioned has been struggling. They've lost four in a row and only one game in their last seven. Baldwin their last win was in December November or December. Oh, December off the 15th. pipe. Off the pipe. That could have got them going there at Stashik. Stanek, I'm sorry, had a nice uh, chance there, and he hit the post. Baldwin looking to get an early goal and to get some positive momentum going here in the third. They're down five to one. And you got up. Mertens now. Yeah, you got room. Number 21, Mertens. Nice defensive, defensive play. play. Martin comes out with it though. Tried to stuff it in. He gets dropped. Battle, yeah, a little battle going there. Looks back at the ref. Ref says, get moving. Oh, lead pass here behind the fence. Coming in. Shot. Save. Golbosh. As he yeah, stops Austin Malley. Beautiful save. The goal is. Uh, Malley's looking for the hat trick there. And he had a chance, but Golbosh said no. Tomko. Here he comes. To Kovac. Back in front. Malley. Looking for the HT, and this line has been really good all night. And looking at the stat sheet, this line's been really good all year. Yeah, they, there's no so, doubt. They, they, it's a well-oiled machine. They work hard. They have good chemistry. And they are tough to handle. They are tough to handle, man. When they get the legs moving, they are putting all kinds of pressure on Baldwin. The line of Ben Kovac, number 18, Will Tomko, number 28. And Austin Miley, number 98. They've been something to watch here tonight. You can learn a lot, too, from body language. And right now, you're just looking at, you look into the shoulders of the Baldwin players, and it's just kind of like, oh, what do we have to do? Uh, obviously, they've already hit the post uh, in this period. But to get back in it, or make it interesting at least, you're going to have to get the puck out of your own zone. And they've not had a, much zone time at all in this first two minutes, 20 seconds. Phillips is a shot. That's stopped by Golbosh. Interestingly enough, looking down at the previous game when these two teams meet, Peters met. Peters Township was up 5-1 to one after two periods in that game, too. Baldwin had a pretty strong third period, putting two in to make it 5-3. to three. So it's pretty much as Golbosh covers that as he finds it in the blue. So pretty much this game has mirrored that one in that Peters had a 5-1 lead going to the third. Five to one here, 14.25 to go in the third period. Peters Township ahead. Again, special thanks to our Peters Township hockey sponsors, Steel City Spine and Orthopedics. Thank you for your support. Yeah, Baldwin needs to, yeah, ah, get that possession. They, they just need to get out of their own zone. That's going up high. Yeah, out of play here. Off the windows at Bubba's. See the crowd over there enjoying the yes, this vibrations and watching the uh, game here. I right, one of my favorite uh, favorite barns in the world is uh, Ross Draver Ice Garden. The first time <laughs> I ever was able to watch from the comfort of having a beer. 
and I was not upset about it. And uh, <laughs> certainly here at <laughs> certainly here at Princecape, uh, you got a nice big view. Camden Martin. Nice job. He gets, uh, keeps it in, new, rides new, the line it. with it. Yeah, there's new paver there now. New paver and Martin with puck possession in zone time. Quinta, oh, Quinta takes, a, took. takes a hit there from Martin. Solid hit there. Yeah, he. Uh, puck he, goes in on goal. Kyle Thomas covers up, junior goaltender for Peters Township Indians. 13.28 to go. 5-1. to one. Peters Township in control. Plenta come to the bench, cut his head down. He he felt that last hit. That was a that was a yeah, that's we, a tough hit to take right there at the at the bench. He too, yeah, I mean it, you know, his hip went right into the board. It, right in front of the entire bench too, so yeah. he had a little salt in the wind. Oh yeah. He seems no worse for wear, but he just come to the bench kind of shaking his head. Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a frustrating thing that uh, you're feeling right now. He's the captain of the team, not sure what to do to get his team back in it, uh, and just entirely too much time uh, spent in their own end. He finally springs it a little bit, gets it up into neutral zone, and just get absolutely plowed in front of the bench. Baldwin, you'd like to see a nice, consistent breakout, get in the zone. So far, so good. And the dump in. Reed will dump that in. Well, I've been impressed with what I've seen from the Peters Township Indians tonight. They were ready to go, and here oh comes boy. a chance on a breakaway. Kovac's going to come in all alone. Kovac and Govosh, backhander. Govosh makes a save. Makes the second one. There and, and a third, third one. And a third one. But again, once again, this line of Kovac... Molly, Tomko, just like bees out of a hive here. They are just all over it. There's no, there is no doubt that he's made 30 saves in this game. Molly, in front. Kovac, oh. save. Govash. Another toe save. Yeah. Wow. Alex Govash. Where would this, where would this game be if he wasn't I, it, playing well? And you look and you say, well, you know, five goals, but. Alex Kovac has played a heck of yeah. a game. Here they come again. Ringwald, he's got a goal tonight. He scored the first goal of the game. Yeah, if he's not the goaltender he is, this game's 8-1, 9-1. No, no questions asked. Absolutely. Another turnover in the neutral zone. Here they come again. Ringwald. It, it's impressive, too, the way Peters, how calm they are I with moving here. that. That Baldwin's just icing the puck so they can get a change. Yeah, they 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 are impressive. And, and what impressed just, me is they were ready to go tonight. They were ready to go from the drop of the puck. They started on time. Uh, Coach Rick Tingle has to be thrilled with uh, his team coming out of the All-Star break. You know, they have a lot to play for, obviously. They're trying to finish first and uh, compete to, to win uh, the 3A Pence Cup. So, so far, so good from them. They look really good, and they look like they're going to be a really tough team to beat down the stretch. Brain dumps it in. He'll go get it. None of these guys seem to have run out of gas either. And no. They, they're skating harder in the third. Their pursuit of the puck is impressive. Yeah, and, and, and they know what to do with it. I mean, it really is a, a well-coached team. Uh, they know exactly where to be, and there's just absolutely no panic. And that's um, not a shot at Baldwin is to say that they wouldn't have reason to panic. It's just I, I, I would I, – they probably don't flinch against Central either. You know, they, they just know what to do. The only goal Baldwin has scored, by the way, friend, uh, friends, was on a five-minute major penalty, and they only scored it with three seconds left. So, uh, Peters Township killed off four minutes and 57 seconds of a major power play, and that came at the expense of uh, number 51, senior Richie Woods, was given a five-minute major and a game misconduct uh, for a boarding penalty. And for Richie getting that misconduct, he's going to have to sit. He'll have an automatic one-game suspension. 
so he will not be playing uh, uh, Peters Township's next game. Face off to the right of Kyle Thomas. I think this is worth mentioning too. Nice job by both coaches and the referees to not allow this game to get a little out of hand after that violent hit uh, in the first that you were just talking about. Uh, that could have led to a lot more chippiness in this game, especially since the score is so lopsided. I think the coaches have done a nice job of making sure that everybody plays hockey and hockey goes first. Number 16, Cole Reed, he's a freshman forward for Baldwin. He was the one that took that boarding hit. Uh, he was shaken up for a couple minutes, but he's since played and I I believe yeah, he's, he's, yeah, he's down on the bench. So no, he's no worse for wear. So no injury on that play. Yeah, it was, it looked bad. It, it, yep. it looked bad and initially I wasn't even sure the referee called it. Puck is dumped in. 10 minutes to go in the third period. Five to one, Peters Township. Peters now just looking to play a solid last 10 minutes, stay out of the box. And get out of here with a win and the two points. They're all very sure skaters. I yes, mean, they, they, are. They, are, they are confident out there, know how to pick pockets like they just did right there. It's it, they're gonna be a force. New paver. Shot, misses the net. Did he shoot that with one hand? I I can't tell, but I mean, it, if he did, it was a pretty strong shot if he did it with one arm. And he's a freshman, by the way. <laughs> Number 96, Cole Newpaper has five goals and three assists. He just ripped that shot there. Pretty good looking freshman, I'd say. Uh, yeah, I would, ima I would imagine uh, your home squad wishes they had a few freshmen going in like yeah. that. You have 14 seniors. Yeah, that's, uh, yes, I, I usually call games for uh, Greater Latrobe uh, and uh, in, in, in Double A Division, and yeah, we have 14 seniors. Looking down at Peters, they have one, two, three, four, five. Six. They have eight seniors, counting goaltender Nolan Hilbert, who is not playing tonight. But Newpaver is a good-looking freshman, number 96. Just ripped that shot. And actually, Baldwin, the uh, player that we talked about earlier, took that hit. Cole Reed. He's a freshman also. He's a there he comes here. He's got yeah. the read right, right on cue. So he's a good looking skater. 840 to go, third period. Five to one, Peters Township. Tom Co. Gets it ahead to Kovac. Kovac loses the handle on that. He'll have to chase it down at center red. It's funny to think about a hockey team with 14 seniors. When I played uh, high school football at Sarah Catholic, also hockey, but High school football, we only had 19 kids on the whole team. 14 seniors on one hockey team is a lot, and uh, even eight is a lot. A yes. lot of kids, though, uh, at that school. We've had no scoring here in the third period. Eight minutes to go. Five to one, Peters Township leads. And just the pursuit, relentless. They are a hard-working hockey team. They are not giving Baldwin an inch. No, and they're they're just so confident. Somco, so here he comes. Shoots, that's blocked. Nice block there. And honestly, there's no business that uh, Peters Township should retain puck possession on that one, and they just did. Logan, Logan Pack, number nine, blocked that shot. Pack, defenseman for Baldwin. Headman pass there. Kramer, little power move. That's Ben Kramer, number 50. Yeah, he lost his footing. Here comes Ringwald. Ringwald coming in. Centered it. Golbash stopped that. Ringwald. Back to Tomko. Tomko shoots. Golbash. Nice save. Oh. Rebound just trickles wide. Ringwald at the point. Can't keep that in. Is there any juice left here for Baldwin to counter? Reed loses that.
Martin. They just keep coming and coming and coming, boy. Yeah, they really Peters do. Peters Township. Every, li every line. Yeah, every I mean, line. It's... Every line. Down to six minutes to go in the third period. Mertens, number 21, he's your captain. Puck dumped in by Phillips. Stanek. I'd like to see Baldwin have at least one more stand here of uh, some long-term puck possession. It just feels like this entire third period, they've, they've just held on for dear life. Although, there haven't been any goals in this period, have there? There, uh, there have not. It was five to one after yeah. two, and with five, approaching five minutes to go, there's still five to one. Mayetta. Here he comes, Mayetta, another one skating with confidence. Nice keep. Caputo, number 88. Another, another player with good size. Yeah, Herb, they, trying they, to get it to Martin. They do have some size on that team. Size and they can skate. When you have that combination of size and skating, whew. Yeah, you're, you're going to be. You're a tough team to play against. And then when you see how they forecheck, which we've witnessed that tonight, yeah, they ball. are just a machine. Here comes Fisher. Shoots. Goldvash to save. Rebound score. I, I don't rebound. know that it, I don't know that he actually used his stick to put it in. I think it went off his body. Goldvash made the initial save, but just too much. Too much there. And it looks like the goal is going to go to Porter Herb. And if that's Porter Herb's goal, that is his first of the season. Rebound. He did reacted. He tap it in? Yeah, he reacted like he did. And he was the first to the bench. So we're going to give him that goal. Again, there's no announcement here at Prince Cape Arena, so we can't know for sure. But number 10, Porter Herb gets the goal. His first of the season. That kind of puts a bow on on things with four minutes to go. Peters Township up six to one. So they are going to get, they are on their way to getting their 12th win of the season. They'll be 12, three and one. They will move again into a tie for second place with Seneca Valley, who also won tonight. And they both will be two points out of first place with games at hand. So they're looking good. And Peters Township has looked real good tonight coming out of the short all-star break, they have really not missed a beat. They jumped on Baldwin, getting the first three goals of the game. Bald, or, uh, Baldwin did get a power play goal to make it three to one, but pretty much since that point on, it's been mostly Peters Township. Oh, here you go, Baldwin's got an opportunity. Brain shoots at the flex wide, Kramer Kramer and Kramer are over there in the corner. Ringwald slows it down. Just content to get it out. Baldwin was off sides. They don't whistle it. They keep the play going. Approaching three minutes and 15 seconds left in this one. Buys, can't get it by the man. A shot. Goldvash just gloves that down. 3.07 to go in the third period. I'm sure Goldvash would just be happy to get out of this game. Uh, again, you you look at it, it's easy if you're just tuning in uh, to 10Band.TV, you're going to go, well, how good could he have played? The answer is fantastic. Uh, for it to be a 6-1 game doesn't look good on a score sheet, but uh, if you don't know the whole story, that kid has played lights out in many, many uh, aspects of this game. Baldwin has had a tough time scoring goals. They've only scored 39 total. They're only averaging 2.7 per game. And with only one goal, big hit there as Bizes hit over by the bench by Kovac. 
So they've only scored one goal tonight, so they are one goal below, and here comes Kovac. He's got a chance. Kovac pulled down. There is a penalty called. Yeah, a penalty. We've got a guy running, Reed running into, uh, into the goaltender, and again, I think he's just happy to get out of here. Peters Township is up 6-1, to one, and they're going to get their first power play. And, you know, they've scored six goals without utilizing their power play, Rick. Their power play is ranked first, numero uno, <laughs> in the 11-team uh, AAA, uh, 3A division. They're 15 for 44. They're scoring at a 34.1% conversion rate. <laughs> yeah, that is not who you want to give a power play to. Now, Baldwin's penalty kill has been pretty good, too. They're ranked fourth in the division. They've killed 39 of 45, 86.7. But now with 2.20 to go in the third period, we get to see the top-rated power play in the 3A division for the first time. Here oh, comes look Tomko. at Tomko skate. Just Tomko effortless. skating. Going to set it up to Mertens. Mertens to Tomko. Setting it up. Mertens. He took, pressured. He's pressured. He Good took pressure a by big Stanek. slash by Stanek. Stanek gets yeah, away with one of those. Had I, all I can stands and I can't stands no more a moment, I think, there for Stanek. Down to a minute in the power play. A minute 40 to go in the game. So here comes Ringwald. He's got a goal tonight. He'll take it behind the net. Set it up. Tomko back to Ringwald. They'll play catch. Here comes Ringwald. Takes it to the middle. In front. Good pass. Shot. Save. Golvash. Another oh, save by yeah. Golvash. Can he get it out? Just relentless. Ringwald. Back to Tomko. Shoots. Another big save. Ringwald. 18 to go. Here comes Plenta shorthanded. Plenta's one on two. Somebody lost a mitt. It was Plenta. Nice and hit Plenta by Plenta as hit. well. Three seconds. So they're not going to score on this power play. Best power play in the 3A division is 0 for 1. They don't care, though. They're up 6 to 1 with 33 seconds to go in the game. Mertens. Shot by Tomko. Misses. Coming out, shot, Golvash the save. Yeah, and we got coincidental miners yeah, coming. They just want them off the ice with the last 22 seconds left. Don't want anything to start. A little bit of. Malley and O'Malley are going to the box. Oh. Austin Malley, number 98 for Peters Township is going. Uh, no. It actually looked kind of like there were some smiles there. Uh, again, with the close proximity, you have no idea and who knows who. So, but Get a shot of that. Matthew O'Malley, number 28 in the box for Baldwin, and Austin Malley, number 98 in the box for Peters Township. Puck is dropped and is cleared. 16 right. seconds to go in this one. Icing whistles it down. 14.7 seconds to go. This is when the game gets to a death rattle. You're, uh, you're icing the puck with 16 <laughs> seconds left, and it's like, mm. oh. There was ever a time to wave one off. Let's just yeah. do it there. Yeah, you would think. Under 10 seconds to go now. Peters Township keeps their winning ways going. Unfortunately, Baldwin is going to now lo lose their fifth, oh. <laughs> fifth game in a row as Kyle Thomas makes the save. And this one is over. Peters Township takes care of business. Now they are 12-3-1. 25 points tied for second place, just two points out of first. Baldwin falls to 5, 9, and 1, 11 points. They are still tied for eighth in the final playoff spot, but now they have lost five in a row. So to summarize this, Rick, Peters Township, they started off great, and uh, they were ready to go tonight, and uh, they were just too much, too much for the Baldwin Fighting Highlanders. Yeah, I mean, they were. To Baldwin's credit, they did jump back into this game a little bit. Uh, after that 3 nothing uh, onslaught to begin the game, they picked up the one goal that they did have 
on that five-minute uh, power play opportunity after watching uh, Reed get crushed in the corner and an ejection uh, for a Peters Township player. They fought back wholeheartedly most of the second, and really they only gave up one goal in this period. Uh, so I, there are things you can take from it if you're Baldwin and go, there were th we did some things really right, but you just you ran into a buzzsaw. So for Rick Garubas, I'm Chris Bedick, and all of us here at 10 Band on TV, thanks for watching. The final score tonight, Peters Township 6, Baldwin 1. We'll see you next time on 10 Band TV. And for that we and for that we say good night, everybody. Yeah, great. Thank you.